with this be kind to groats thing? Will you tell her it's not a thing? I'm trying to make a point about accepting people, even when they look different. No, oh, I'm proud of you. It takes a lot of guts doing what you're doing. Yeah, you know, a lot more to wear what she's wearing. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet some friends. Oh, my gosh, it's a cheerleader from beyond the grave. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, give me a second. You know, I've never seen you in normal clothes before. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, but there's something missing. I know. Let's go poke a hole in your tongue. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> right? A 22-year-old substitute teacher. Oh, an older woman and experienced in the ways of love. <laughs> well, that makes one of you. <laughs> what if she finds out you're a high school student? Yeah, she might give you detention. <laughs> you see, Julie, that's why I don't date you high school chicks anymore. Mm, and we all thank you. Oh. <laughs> and as far as Wendy finding out, yeah. I've got eyes in the back of my head. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for the girls' locker room. Wendy! Eugene! What are you doing here? Um, uh, I'm coaching. I'm the assistant coach. Don't just stand there. Come on, run those laps. Run, 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 run. So, we'll go to the dance tomorrow night. A little you, a little me, a little spring, a little fling. <laughs> I'll be ready at seven. I'm ready right now. <laughs> My man is cool, like the other side of the pillow. <laughs> it looks like we all got dates. Not me. I am flying solo. <laughs> what happened to Wendy? Well, dude, if he asks her to the dance, there's just a tiny chance that she'll figure out that he's in high school. So I told her I was going out of town. And I've got this thing so wired, I'm untouchable. <laughs> So, we're short of chaperone for that spring thing tomorrow night, and I was wondering if you could help us out. Sure. I'm not doing anything this weekend. School dance sounds like fun. Fun? <laughs> you haven't been teaching very long, have you? <laughs> Christy flipped out, and that's the only explanation. Oh, I'm just glad she voted for Queen before all this happened. <laughs> hey, guys. Did you hear about Christy? What now? Somebody beat her up last night. Why would anyone want to beat up Christy? Is she okay? I hope so. I'm really worried about her. Her mom said she was pretty banged up. Oh. oh Christy, you okay? Ah. Oh, you poor thing. Who did this to you? I was with Sid and her friends, and these two big guys came out of nowhere. They called us groats, and they started kicking us. If I find out who did this, I'm going to kick his face in. No, Antonio, I already talked to the police. Oh, this is horrible. People are so mean. What do you care if a bunch of groats get beat up? Christy, you're not a groat. You're my best friend. So if I were a groat, it'd be OK to beat me up? That's not what she's saying. You were just dressed like a groat. I don't need the clothes and the makeup. You're still Christy. Yeah, well, underneath all the clothes and the makeup, Sid and her friends are people, too. They're really nice people. I'm sure they are. How would you even know? You've been so busy judging them, you never even took the time to get to know them. Antonio, can you walk me to class? I'm going to go to the girls' room. I'll go with you. Okay. See you in a week. <laughs> Christy, we really need to talk. I really don't think there's anything to talk about. Come on, Antonio. So, Coach, I'm not exactly sure what a chaperone's supposed to do. Here's all you need to know. Stay away from the kids. Stay close to the wings. Bring your own dressing. <laughs> Excuse me.
Excuse me, coach. Eugene? Wendy! What are you doing here? The coach asked me to chaperone. I thought you were going out of town. <laughs> well, I kind of felt through at the last minute. So, we're both chaperoning. Yeah! <laughs> chaperoning. Would you like some punch? I'd love some. He got away with it again. You know, for a calculus teacher, she's pretty stupid. All right, listen up. The bolts are all in. And it's time to announce your spring fling, queen and king. That's something I can't live without. <laughs> and your spring fling king is... Jeez. <laughs> Eugene Brown? You? You're a student? <sighs> Must be some other Eugene Brown. <laughs> Way to go, buddy! Yeah! Woo! You are a student. I can't believe you're still in high school. Hey, look, Wendy, I'm sorry. I mean, now that you know the truth, you probably want to dump me. Actually, Eugene, you're not really younger than me. But you graduated from college. I mean, you've got to be at least, what, four years older than me? Well, unless you skipped a grade or something. Well... Actually, I skipped six grades. What? I'm only 16. I just got my driver's license two weeks ago. What can I say? I'm a genius. So, am I too young for you? <clears throat> well, I mean, I'll let it go this time. But... You know, from now on, we gotta be straight up with each other. Moving on, Deering's new spring fling queen is Mary Beth Pepperton. Way to go, Mary Beth. Um, I know this is where I'm supposed to thank everyone for voting for me, and I do thank you, but there are things that matter a lot more than dances and crowns. Last night, my best friend Christy and some of her friends were beaten up for being groats. I know you're saying who cares about groats. I used to say that too. But I was wrong to judge them for the way they look. I mean, it's no better than judging people for their color or the country they come from or because they're short or fat or gay or because they practice a religion that we don't understand. These are not reasons to hate people and they sure aren't reasons to hurt anyone. So, Sid, I want to say that I am sorry for the way I've treated you and your friends. wanted this crown for a long time, I want to give it to the person who showed me that I was being intolerant. Christy, you deserve this more than I do. No, you really deserve it for what you just said. <laughs> Besides, you already bought two outfits to go with it. <laughs> Can you forgive me? Can you forgive us? Yeah. Marriage wouldn't happen. They said it wouldn't last. Okay, they were right. The big breakup is Tuesday. Your husband looks like a leprechaun. You think? <laughs> then, on Third Rock, plastic surgeon David Hasselhoff cuts up on Dick. And Will gets fired, but Grace comforts him. Told you so, told you, told you, told you so. Mother of God, make her stop. And the bonus, just shoot me. New comedy on NBC Tuesday.